This video is going to be about, be about uh, solving exponential equations without logarithms and then later on in the unit we'll have one where we're solving exponential equations with logarithms. And so um, today <clears throat> in this video what you need to think about is if I have 2 to the fourth power which equals 16 but let's say I have it equal to 2 to the x uh, essentially these are exponentials because you have a base raised to an exponent and the idea here is that today if you can get the bases the same right if the bases are the same whoops don't even know what happened there right so if the bases are the same then you can set the exponents equal to each other and so to each other so obviously the answer to uh, that equation is x equals four um, however uh, we're gonna look at a little bit diff more difficult problems uh, but that's basically the idea right here is that in an exponential equation if I can get the bases to be the same then I'll set the exponents equal to each other and I will be able to find what x equals so take this one for example we've got first one we've got 5 to the 3 minus 2x equals 5 to the negative x. So the first question you ask yourself is are the bases the same? And the answer is yes. And so I'm going to set the exponents equal to each other. So don't worry about the fives, right? We're just concerned when does 3 minus 2x equal negative x. And we have a linear equation, we can just solve it. So plus 2x plus 2x and I'll have 3 equals x so our answer is just going to be x equals 3 and that's it um, however what happens let's say like if if the bases aren't the same right so if I move this up a little bit um, and we have uh, for example 2 here let's go with 3 to the 1 minus 2x let's say that equals 243 so later on in the unit we'll talk about how a logarithm could help us out here however what we're going to do right now is we're going to try to create the same base so the thing about this is uh, 243 is the only one that you can change because 3 is a prime number and there's not much you can do to change 3 now I'm not going to um, do anything to both sides I'm literally just going to rewrite 243 in a different way so 243 is the same thing as 3 to the fifth power if you use the calculator hit pause right now and use a calculator uh, you can see that 243 is 3 to the fifth so then I have 3 to the 1 minus 2x and it equals 3 to the fifth and so now I've created the same base and so what I can do is I can set the exponents equal to each other so 1 minus 2x and that equals 5 and then we can solve it so subtract 1 negative 2x equals 4 divide by negative 2 x equals negative 2 and if we want to check our answer we could you'd take x negative equaling negative 2 and plug it into the uh, original way up here and so um, if you put negative 2 in for x, that'd make 4, and so 1 plus 4 is 5, and 3 to the 5th is 243. So your answer is uh, right here, x equals negative 2. All right, uh, there's probably one more uh, that we should probably look at, uh, maybe two, I don't know. We'll try and see what happens, but um, there's two situations that, or not two situations, but one situation that I think might be interesting using properties of exponents and probably people like me uh, like these kinds of questions so 3 to the negative 2x <clears throat> plus 1 and then times 
uh, 3 uh, to the negative 2x minus 3 equals 3 to the negative x. And then I'll do a different one. I'll create a little divider there. And then another one. Let's do um, 2 to the x times 1 over 32 and then equals 32. So in all of these problems what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the same base if I don't have it and if I do have it then I'm going to work from there. So in the first one I have threes everywhere, right? Three, three, three. So now I'm being asked to multiply them. What you want to do is you want to multiply them together and so since we have like bases we can multiply them together. Remember you keep the base the same and then you add the exponents. So I'm just going to add those exponents. That would make negative 4x and then 1 plus negative 3 would be negative 2 and then that equals 3 to the negative x. Now you have one exponential on each side and then you can set the exponents equal to each other. Before you didn't really have an opportunity to set them equal to each other because you didn't know um, which exponent would equal negative x. So by doing properties of exponents and adding those two things then you're able to have one exponential on the left and one on the right. So you can say negative 4x minus 2 equals negative x and we can solve that. So plus 4, whoops, plus 4x. So I have negative 2 equals 3x. I divide by 3. I've got x equals off to the side over here, x equals uh, negative two-thirds. Then over here with the second one, um, I like this problem and I think the reason I like it is because uh, you kind of got to think a little bit about powers of two, right? So I'm going to try to write everything with a base of two. So this one's already two to the x. If you can think about 32, 32 is two to the fifth. So one over 32 is 2 to the negative fifth and that equals 32 which is 2 to the fifth. And now we have the same situation where we started in the last one so I have like bases when I'm multiplying them together right I add the exponents so I keep the base the same 2 and then I do x plus negative 5 which is just x minus 5 and then equals 2 to the fifth and now I can take x minus 5 set it equal to 5 x is going to equal 10. And there's our answer. All right. So uh, solving exponential equations, make sure you have the same base. Create that same base by rewriting it. And once you have the same base, you can set the exponents equal to each other. All right. Talk to you later.